Hello everyone, my name is Jason Gregerson, and this video is going to be an introduction to MA2320 Online Elementary Linear Algebra. So welcome to the course. I will start by looking at the home page. So when you log into Canvas and you select this course, we'll be brought to this page. And we look at this page, we have getting started right here, and it has three items to do to get started. First is to watch the welcome video, and this of course is the welcome video. After that it has instructions for um, registering for the online homework system that we'll be using in this course. Then it says to explore the pages below. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to start by going through the course syllabus. So if you select this link, it will bring you to a page where you'll be able to download the PDF of the course syllabus. Course syllabus will look something like this. I'll have your instructor's information at the top. It will list the te textbook that we're going to be using in this course. Note that the online access code, an online passcode for the online homework is required. Now when you buy that online passcode, you'll have access to an online textbook, which you can use, and purchase of the physical textbook is optional. After that, I list the prereqs and the course description and all the course objectives for the course, and you can read through each of those pieces. Next, it goes to course structure. This is how we're going to describe how this course actually flows. So let's look at this real quick. It says for each section of the text to be covered, there'll be a Canvas assignment that instructs students to read the text, watch the preparatory and recitation videos, and complete the associated online homework. So for each section of the text, we have videos to watch, which essentially replaces a lecture, and then there's an online homework system. And so some of these assignments will also have individual pieces. For instance, there might be a Canvas quiz or some other assignment to do. There will also be a weekly Mathematica assignment in Canvas. And lastly, we have two midterm exams and a cumulative final. So now that we know kind of the course structure, let's see how we can navigate that course structure in the Canvas page. So the course syllabus says that for each week there'll be a se sections that we need to complete. If we select the schedule page, the schedule will, will list all the sections that are required for each week. So for instance, for week one of this course, I'm required to complete all the content for section 1.1 and section 1.2. In week two, I'd have to finish all the stuff for section 1.3 and 1.4, so on and so forth. Now, the syllabus said that for each section, there was a Canvas assignment that would tell me what to do. So if we go back to the home page, if we select this course syllabus link, or if we were to cl click on the syllabus tab over here on the left, it would bring us to the same page. It would bring us to this page. In this page, we can once again download the, P the PDF of the syllabus. And we can also scroll down and we'll see a list of all of our sections um, and their due dates. So this represents week one of the course. And I have a Mathematica assignment and I have the assignments for section 1.1 and 1.2. Now if I select the assignment for section 1.1, it should give me all the information for what I need to do to complete the requirements for section 1.1. Here it says I need to read the text, watch a preliminary video, watch a recitation video, and this is the link to my online homework system. So I need to complete that online homework. Now in this specific assignment, there is no Canvas quiz or a Canvas assignment to submit. In fact, the point says for none is this is an ungraded assignment. Some will be like this. Some there might be a short Canvas quiz or an assignment to be submitted through Canvas as well. But the instructions for each section will be provided in the section assignment. Now, how do I complete this online homework? Well, if I go to mymathlab.com, if I follow that link, it should bring me to a page that looks like this. So here is where I will either sign in or register for my online homework course. Now, how do we do that? Well, if we go back to the course homepage, we'll see that step number two in getting started has a PDF of the instructions that we'll need to register for the online homework system. So we simply open up that PDF, and it will look like this. And we'll have all the specific instructions for registering for the online homework for this course. Now notice on step three, it has my instructor's course ID. This is the course ID for the course in this video, but your document will have the course ID for your specific session that you're taking. So we simply open up this PDF and follow the instructions. And when you go to sign in in the future, You'll be brought to a page that looks like this, and it'll have your courses on the left-hand side here. You simply select the course uh, that you're taking, 
and it'll bring you to the course homepage. So this is what the course homepage looks like. At the top here, we have a little calendar that should show the assignment due dates. So I can scroll through that, see when my next assignments are. It also has an HTML ebook. So if I select this next tab, and I follow this link, I can get an HTML version of the textbook. So I could go to section 1.1, for instance, and read the text here. Get a little more room, I could close the table of contents. I can increase the font size as well for easier reading. So I can simply read through the text online like this. Now the homework system, I click the homework tab, it will show me all the lists of the homework assignments and their due dates. I'll click the assignment for section 1.1. It will describe the details of the assignment over here. Notice that the number of times you can complete each question is unlimited. So now to start a question, I'll just select question 1. And I'll bring up this screen. I'll ask my question. When I'm done with this question, I can move on to the next question by using these um, buttons up on top. As I'm working through my problem, here it has a system of linear equations for me to solve, and they're expecting an answer as an ordered pair. So I'll put in some values here, and I can check my answer. I've gotten that answer incorrect. And I will have three attempts for this problem incorrect. And then notice after that it says final check. Now I have one more guess. When I try my final check, I'm still incorrect, and it will tell me the correct answer. But I do have an option now, even though this problem has now been marked incorrect, I do have the option to try a similar exercise. If I try a similar exercise and I get this answer correct, it will change my score to a correct score. So you get three attempts at each question, but you can try similar exercises, similar questions, to essentially get unlimited attempts. Also, if I'm stuck on this problem, I can say, help me solve this. And they'll walk me through an example problem and show me the stuff that I need to do. So they will guide me through this problem, and then I can try a similar exercise to complete it on myself. There's some other options on the site as well. So I really encourage you to take your time familiarizing yourself with this homework system and ask if you have any questions. All right, so let's go back to the syllabus. So far, we've covered how to do all the week-to-week -week items. We know that we're supposed to check the schedule to see which sections we're supposed to complete go to the Canvas assignments to fulfill the requirements for each section, and in that process, we'll have to do some online homework. It says, lastly, there are two midterm exams and a cumulative final exam. So how do we take exams in an online course? Exams in an online course need to be proctored. So here we have the details about proctoring. If you're a student who's on campus, on the day of exam, you can come to the Michigan Tech Testing Center and take your exam under the supervision of the testing center proctor. If you're a student who's off campus, you'll need to acquire a proctor for yourself. For more information, we can go back to our Canvas homepage. We'll see a link that says online course information. This page tells us what we need to do to find an acceptable proctor. It says, take the exams off Canvas, you must find a proctor. And then it has a list of acceptable proctors and unacceptable proctors. Once you find a proctor that you'd like to use, they're required to fill out the proctor form. So you print out this form and fill out the needed information. At that time, your instructor will verify the identity of your proctor. Once your proctor is approved, they will receive an email from the instructor giving them the guidelines for being a proctor. This will tell them how they're supposed to administer the exam to you. And then on the day of the exam, the exam will be emailed to the proctor. They will print the exam they will administer it to you, and they will email or scan it back to your instructor. One thing that's important, to give your instructor enough time to verify your proctor's identity, the proctor forms must be submitted relatively early in the course. So see this Canvas page for the details of when your proctor form must be submitted. If you do not have your proctor form submitted in time, you will not be able to take exams off campus. The last thing I want to talk about in this introduction are these last three tabs, Announcements, Discussions, and Conferences. Those are different tools that your instructor can choose or choose not to use to communicate with students throughout the course. See your instructor for specific details on the use of those tools. That concludes this introduction to Online Elementary Linear Algebra.